Hello bleepers, how the devil are you? Okay, so today I want to do something ever so slightly different. We're going to have a look at some of my conclusions uh, concerning putting queens and things into olive oil to see if they clean up in any way, shape or form. <clears throat> okay, so I've put these in, I literally got a tub, filled it with olive oil and just put these in there uh, for about six months it was. And I literally did that. Some people like to, every month, they like to just take out take out the coin, just give it a light brush. And I'm gonna try that next time because I think I'm gonna get better results. Okay, so in front of us we have two uh, a coin at the top, the two at the top, uh, the greenish ones are before and the ones uh, beneath them are after. And we can already see a slight change. Um, I think there's a little bit more definition. I didn't get good pictures of the second one, I do, I do apologize. Um, but there's, there's better examples coming up later. Yeah, you know, yeah, there's, there's definite difference there. All of that green tarnishy stuff is just, it, the olive oil just gets rid of that. There's still some left on the bottom pictures, but not that much compared to the top. It is a little bit more definition. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Okay, in this instance, we have my police badge. Uh, and the one on the left, the greenish one, obviously, is the before, and the one on the other side is the after. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't take any pictures of the other side in these ones. Okay, then, you can see the difference there. It just seems to get rid of all of this this green tarnish. It's not it's not patina, it's 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 that horrible green diseased stuff that gets in. Um, and it just gets rid of it. And if you look at the other side, the picture doesn't really do it justice, but the quality is is really, really good. It is so good, it's just come up just like new. And the, and the other side's the the other side's exactly the same as well. There's absolutely no green stuff left over. And that is just doing absolutely nothing. That is just literally leaving them in there for six months and it just comes out like that. That, I think that this is probably the best example of how olive oil um, works. And now this Roman, you know what, this hasn't really made that much of a difference. The top two are before, the bottom two are after. Um, the pictures, I wish I'd, I wish I'd taken the pictures in exactly the same environment because the lighting is different. That's annoying, I'm gonna remember that for next time. Um, so we've got this green cruddage here, as you can see. And look, it, it definitely is less here and it's definitely less you know, embedded here and it's just kind of like eaten away slowly. I reckon if I was to leave these in there for a year, perhaps, I would have better results. Or again, maybe every month, just take it out and just slightly, just so gently, just have a little, you know, with a toothbrush or cotton or something and just slightly, slightly have a go at it. But apart from that, there isn't, oh, actually, look, you see all this green kind of like cruddage here. That's all really, really disappeared here. And that's not the lighting. That's actually, that's actually just actually vanished. Whoops, a daisy. Oh, good Lord, what am I doing? Okay, there you go. Yeah, so no real change there on the Roman. Um, but I just think it's because it's so embedded with this, this crud, you know, it really, really is. Okay, there's, there's big changes in this one, and the pictures don't really do do that justice. Um, some people don't like to touch their coins, and, and I completely get that. They, they'd rather other people deal with it, or they just like to have them in their natural state as they were dug out the ground, and I completely understand that. Um, but, I mean, this is just this is literally just a test as to see if this works or not. I probably won't do it with all my coins, um, but, you know, it's just a test. Actually, in your hand, you can really see the difference. I mean, the top... Uh, the top one obviously is before, the bottom one's after, and you can just see the definition. In the bottom one, it looks like some of the definition's gone in the his half penny bit, but it's not, it's not, it's actually become more pronounced. And in the left hand pictures, you can really see that horrible green, you know, bad stuff that it's just all completely vanished. The, the coins are pretty much brown, they look like coins now rather than, you know, this like crud infested green things and look if you look at the top of the 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 um his half penny side the right hand side there and if you look at the kind of like the six and the three up there you can see the difference between the six and the three and the top and the bottom there's it's more pronounced and you can see this there's actually a six next to that six and you can't see that in the top picture there's actually literally nothing there but it's just bored it out in the uh, the olive oils somehow brought it out and you can read canterbury a lot better as well around the side and in the top one, it's just it's just a lot more definition, isn't there? I mean, you look at the quality of the H above the um, the shears, uh, and then look in the bottom picture. They look like two different coins, actually. Uh, around the A and the M, that's really really good quality. That is, yeah, I'm really really happy with those. 
kind of difference here is actually quite striking. Again, the um, the bottom pictures don't really do it justice, and I apologise for that. But the top pictures, obviously before, the bottom pictures are after. You've got that green crowd, that horrible stuff. It's just an, a knackered old coin. It's a cartwheel penny. You can't really see any definition there. You can see the dots, the milled dots around the side, but there's no there's, on, on either either of those those examples. There's nothing there really. Um, even that close up, I can't see anything. But if you look at the bottom pictures, you can clearly see a head. You can clearly see writing on both going around the side. And I do believe you can probably see Britannia on the right hand side one. You see her leg and, I mean it's not great, but it's cleaned away a lot of that crud. And it looks a lot, they just look a lot, they, they've got more definition basically. And again, the camera doesn't do it justice. So there you go, my friends. I just wanted to give you an example of what six months in olive oil actually does. It's not going to be for everybody, and not everybody will want to do it. But with some coins, it's worth a go. It's definitely worth a go. The conclusion is that it definitely has an effect. Um, but I think that maybe a year and two years would be better for a lot of these coins. Um, I think that you'd get even more definition, and they'd come out looking even more sprightly. And you know, and maybe consider just giving them a, a bit of a rub down every month, and just see how see if that has an effect as well. My conclusion is it definitely, definitely is um, is a positive effect there. Anyway, my friends, thank you for watching, and I shall see you in the next video.